When I cried, it was tears of joy, tears of relief, knowing that someone had been arrested. It has been almost a decade, and tonight there's an arrest in the cold case murder of a UNC Chapel Hill student who police say killed Faith Hedgebeth in 2012. And the numbers are in. How many COVID cases did local hospitals have to deal with after the Labor Day weekend? We're digging deeper into those numbers. The Fayetteville VA is warning people who got a COVID-19 shot at their facility. We're getting answers on how the medical center let hundreds of expired doses get into people's arms. Now, breaking news from CBS 17 News. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. We're going to begin tonight with that breaking news. After nine years, a murder at UNC Chapel Hill has now been solved, and a Durham man is behind bars. This is Miguel Enrique Salguero Oliveras, and he's charged with first degree murder in the September 2012 murder of Faith Hedgepeth, who was a student at UNC. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is live in Chapel Hill with more. And, Max, some very emotional moments from Faith's parents today, and even some of the leaders of the city. Yeah, Angela, the family has been waiting nine years and exactly nine days for this moment. Chapel Hill police aren't releasing much, but they ultimately say d DNA collected from the scene those nine years ago ultimately led them to the suspect. Now, today they arrested Miguel Enrique Olivares in Durham. This is a mugshot of him from a previous arrest recently in Wake County. He is now charged with the first degree murder of 19 year old. Faith Hedgepeth. Hedgepeth was a UNC student at the time. Her roommate found her partially naked in their Chapel Hill apartment back on September 7th, 2012. At the time, police said she was beaten to death with an empty liquor bottle. Now, police would not say how long Olivares was living in Durham when he was arrested today or if he knew Faith, but again, say that the DNA collected from the scene. With that, they were able to make a match. Now, Faith's parents today understandably emotional, and today they shared the moment they learned police finally made an arrest. When I got the news this morning, I didn't do anything but cry and thank God and praise God because I put it in his hands and it was his timing. I don't know why it took so long, but I just know that it was him. Every angle, every tool. And Chapel Hill police say this case is far from over and that they today are still currently pursuing other potential leads, not ruling out other people potentially involved in this case. Meanwhile, Olivares is being held in the Durham County Jail without bond. And tonight at 6, we'll hear more from Faith's parents. Live in Chapel Hill, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News. And this murder impacted a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You could see all the different people coming together remembering that day nine years ago. Mac, thank you there for that update. And of course